righty. So I have some exciting news for you guys right there on the screen. You can see track work from the MCBR all the way to the break run is complete. How exciting. So as you know, they had two construction companies from the same company. Sorry, I made it sound like it was two separate, but two separate projects going on to help finish this coaster in time. So they're trying to finish this before the new year. Um, the other team has now finished the Helix. Um, it looks stunning. I cannot believe how level to the ground that Helix is. Um, it's going to be a super photogenic area. Again, the goal of this area was to be photogenic and pay homage to Sky Rider. It's not meant to be the most thrilling ending to a coaster ever for those being like, well, it looks very tame. Um, it's meant to pay homage and it's meant to be photogenic. There's going to be a photo area right there in the Helix area, from what I understand, like where you can stand and take pictures. Um, so that's super exciting. But heading on over to the fourth inversion, the Immelman. Um, as you can see, it is um, nearing completion. So it's now angled up. It's curving out of the inversion. Um, it's going to connect to the support beam there. What's cool about the support beam, if you look very closely, is the support column actually goes over the pathway. So it's almost like an entranceway. Um, I always find that awesome. Walking in between a coaster underneath a coaster like at Val Raven. Um, is super awesome. I love it. And this coaster really interacts with its surroundings and I could not be more thrilled. Um, again, for all of you, you've all been there with me on those construction tours. Um, it is a very photogenic coaster. Um, and I cannot wait, um, till what the new year brings for us. Um, so we'll have some exciting footage in the new year for you guys. And, um, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, not too much else going on. You can see construction equipment down in the station, queue line area. They are still working on the queue line. So the queue line is supposed to be a bunch of switchbacks. Then you'll enter underneath the turn out of the station and then head up into the station, which will be kind of like a steel frame, like a mine shaft theme to Yukon Gold Rush era. Again, Dawson City was referenced. Nothing uh, notice, uh, noticeable on Mindbuster except for a lot of digging over near um, Backlot Stunt Coaster. Um, and in that area where they're digging currently, I can confirm that is most likely electrical, which leads me to believe that a lot of the work um, is for electrical. Now, the only thing that I'm still um, holding on to, and in my opinion, it confirms that Wild Beast is not going to be RMC and Mindbuster will be the one that gets RMC'd, is one, you have Frontier Canada beginning its expansion phase, so there's more projects to come, and Mindbuster is in that area, and Mindbuster was supposed to be the big attraction for Frontier Canada. So that, to me, screams RMC. Um, Mindbuster has been getting very little treatment over the last couple of years in terms of replacing what needs to be replaced, and Wild Beast, again... Um, for another consecutive year is being replaced and replenished. So to me, that screams um, they have no plans in the near future for RMC and Wild Beast. And for me, the pudding lies with Mindbuster. Um, but it's one of those debates that no one will win until it's announced. But for me, I am definitely team RMC Mindbuster. Um, that's all I have to report on Yukon Striker right now. The drones are up every day. We're going to get the completion of this coaster for you guys. Don't you worry. Um, and uh, there's lots more exciting content to come in the new year. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one. Bye. Thanks so much for watching our videos, guys. Don't forget to head on over to our store and look at our posters, our calendars, and our new merch. Um, we have some exciting stuff on the store for you guys interested in Yukon Striker and what we do. Any little bit helps the channel grow and upgrade our technology to provide better footage and content for you guys. Anyways, thanks so much for watching all of our video guys. Um, and don't forget to stay tuned. Hit that notification bell to stay up to date on our newest videos. Have a good one, guys. Bye.